Hey guys, what is up? It's Mr. Reagans here bringing you guys another video. And today I am bringing you guys the thank you for 600 subscriber video. And I'm doing an apartment tour of my new apartment I got. I've been living here for about three weeks, coming up on a month soon. And I've been wanting to do a tour, but like nothing's really done. And there's still a lot that's not done that I need to move in and like place and set up and stuff like that. But there is a lot and there's enough that I can make a video showing it off. So I'm just having to stare at the wall because I want to reveal everything slowly. But uh, yeah, we'll just start from the front of it and then my living room and we'll work our way back to my bedroom. So my living room is probably the one that actually doesn't have that much done with it. So this is what we got, right? Little table, a little coffee table right in the middle. I still have a lot of stuff that still needs to be like unpacked. Those three bags are closed. That bag's poster, so it's not that much. You know, we got the router, the moat, all that good stuff. That's like an audio deafener that I can never get to use. Little tables here, you know, nothing too crazy. Uh, one light air conditioner, which is amazing. I don't really use it that much. All my hats, and then a little TV set up for if I ever decide to watch anything out here. But uh, closet number one. We got Tide Pods, you know, great for snacks if I ever get hungry, if I'm ever in a situation. And then Gain, you know, they don't taste nearly as good. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so there, that, there's not really much going on in there. My kitchen's a little more exciting. We got, you know, Dishes, four boxes of cereal, uh, bread, obviously. What's in my fridge, you might ask? We got pizza, wake up sandwiches, and then down here, Uncrustables, V8, milk, eggs, butter, cheese, condiments, and meat. You gotta have meat. Um, but that's just, um, my fridge isn't fully stacked out yet, because I don't really need to do that much shopping for myself, I find. But it's not completely filled up. My stove is amazing. Um, I love my electric stove. It is so good. The stove's so great. Um, and then over here, you know, just cabinets and stuff, kitchen. I do have some dirty dishes. I know I need to get that cleaned up. More professional YouTubers probably would have cleaned that up before showing off their, their appointment. But yeah, you know, just got that. I love the top floor. Oh yeah, like 30 cups of noodles, of course. Um, oh, this is where I poop. Um, right there, that's, that's my pooping throne. I got blue water because I'm fancy and I wanted to be like uh, fancy about it. So I bought those things you put in so like it deep cleans your toilet and it makes blue water so it's cool. Um, not really much to show off in there in terms of the bathroom. I mean it's not crazy big. Um, I got a pink tub if that matters. Um, not too much going on here. A little closet here, a little closet there. Not really much in there. I mean I think this one literally just has, oh yeah this one has a bunch of shirts and stuff like that. Uh, light bulbs and all that other kind of stuff. Uh, you know, it's pretty chill. Um, I like it. I like it a lot. And then the bedroom. This is where we'll spend the bulk of this video. Um, it's a little bit of a mess, but this is the most complete room. So there's my bed. You, that pillowcase is worse and worse every night. I, I just, I, it, it, I tore it one night on accident. Now every night, anytime, I, like anyone lays on it and moves it in the slightest bit, it tears. But you know, bed, nothing too crazy. Um, the setup. This is literally the exact same setup I had at uh, the apartment that I live in with my parents. Like, in terms of the entertainment center. I got one of those, I got my three consoles down there, PS4, PS2, Xbox One, I guess four consoles, because we got the Switch right there. And I bought a, bought a pro controller for that bitch. It's so much better than using the Joy-Cons, in my opinion. Like, pr playing Breath of the Wild on that controller is so much better. Um, little wall of a couple posters. I'm gonna put more up there and get them framed. But we got Logic on one side, and we got Pulp Fiction on the other. Before all the Rat Pack stands, attack me for this sake. Logic doesn't make profit off this poster. I bought it off Logic's website, like, um, or I didn't. My friend Ray didn't. He gave it to me. Regardless, um, little like table. This is where I set my computer up at, and I just use this chair to go over. This chair's fucked up, but I'm actually getting a new one. Um, it's it, it works fine. It's just like the padding's all tearing off. Um, laptop stuff. Little speaker over there. I don't use it much. Uh, this whole set I really fuck with. This is where I keep like. My physical copies of stuff which i don't buy many physical copies of games but i do want to do them for the switch because it's so much easier to have a physical copy for the switch um but that's like a bunch of setup games right there but again most of my games are all digital uh dragon ball z uh oof, you gotta love it frieza saga stuff um movies all that kind of stuff um yeah, I also got an air conditioner here. It's just kind of covered up by that. But I don't use it too much because I, if you put too much power in one room, that's just not good for your electric bill and not good for your breakers. But this is probably the most messy area just because I don't have a spot for all these. It's like my change jar, um, my my favorite knife. Um, this was like an internet extender and it's supposed to be so good. 
and I tried it and it's pretty ass. So I don't really like this that much. A um, little bit of a Funko Pop collection. You guys have all seen this. It's the exact same Funkos that I've always had. Um, dresser, all that. Clean clothes hamper, dirty clothes hamper. <laughs> This is one of my favorite things. This is my uh, Bengal jersey collection. So I never really had a collection like that much. It was just kind of like I had a couple that I wore all the time, all this kind of stuff. But um, now I have enough to where I can say I have a small collection. Now, some of these have been worn before. Some of these haven't been worn before. You'll be able to tell. And why not? Let's just go through each one because YouTube recommends you make longer videos. So in the front, we got the boy Carson Palmer, who is one of the best Bengals quarterbacks of all time. My opinion, he was fucked over by an organization that didn't care about him. We got the Messiah, Joe Burrow. This I have never worn before. It's just, it's so good. I can't, I don't want to wear this. My Andy Dalton one, which I have worn a bunch before, but I, I love AD. I wish him nothing but the best in Chicago. He's a good quarterback. I don't care what anybody says. Uh, AJ Green, I had this when I was 12. Like you can tell it's been torn up on the sides. I used to play football on that thing. Love AJ. Wish him nothing but the best in Arizona. He deserves a championship. Got one for Auden Tate, who uh, I think is one of the most underrated receivers in football. He's got one of the biggest catch radiuses, and I think he's a great player. I love Auden Tate. Uh, Gio Bernard, who, again, I love. I've had this one for a while. Um, the Auden Tate one's probably, like, one of my newest ones. Um, but Gio Bernard, I love him. I love him to death. He's a great player. He's a great guy. Um, he's a he's more of a kind of like a gadget running back. Jeremy Hill, which... Uh, <laughs> I don't know why I still have this one. Not only is it a little torn up, but Jeremy Hill also kind of like attacked the Bengals. Like Jeremy Hill went to the Patriots and was a third string running back and didn't play a snap in the Super Bowl and won a ring and talked shit about the Bengals. It, was, it just blew my mind. Um, you know, you got my man Gordon Thurman, um, who is an OG Bengals player. I'm not sure many people even know who that is. Um, we got uh, Tyler Boyd, who is the best slot receiver in the NFL. I don't care what anyone says. I love Tyler Boyd to death. He is fantastic. Um, he needs to follow me back on Twitter. <laughs> I'll just play. No, but Tyler Boyd's amazing. I'll never forget when we drafted him. I got this when we drafted him. Like, literally, I got him, like, right when the jerseys came out because I knew he was going to be a stud. I saw his highlight tape in, in Pittsburgh, and I knew he was going to be crazy. And then my boy, Jay Smith. Real ones will know. Um, but that is the jersey collection. That's as far as my jerseys go. I have a bunch of other Bengals merch. Uh, I don't have much NCAA merch because fuck the NCAA. They really don't care about their players, in my opinion. So I don't really buy anything from them because I don't want to support the NCAA. They really don't give a fuck about their players. And, uh, yeah, so fuck them. <laughs> fuck the NCAA. But I love play -play players in there, you know. I love OSU. I love UC. Speaking of NCAA, I don't know if anyone else watched that men's basketball uh, championship game last night. But uh, I told people Baylor was going to win that, and no one believed me. But that is basically, I don't know if there's much to go over. I mean, hardwood floor, obviously, and I am an apartment building, so I can't be super loud and stuff like that. But I can... Talk in normal tones and make videos. Um, trying to think of what else to go over that like would be super interesting. Um, there's not really much else. I mean, this is I I love this apartment. Like it's been great. Um, and then I'm gonna add more. So what I want to do this is something, okay. I do want to talk about this. What I want to do is like a series. Like I want you guys to see the evolution of this apartment. I want you to see the evolution of this wall with more posters. I want you to see the evolution of the gaming setup. The evolution of the living room. I want you guys to see like how far I take this and like what I do with it. So you guys can feel like you're on the journey with me. Like I feel like that'd be really cool. But you know, as soon as I hit 600 subscribers, I knew I had to do like a special video and this was just a perfect idea in my opinion. So um, anyways, that's gonna be the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed, please share, like, comment, and subscribe. Home me that road to 700 subscribers. I love being able to say that. Um, tell me what you guys think about the apartment in the comment section below and uh the next apartment video update will probably be when i get my living room situated but anyways i'll see you guys next time it's austin and i'm out peace guys